Now that we've learned all about translations and reflections, it's time to move on to rotations. Write down on your paper 2.4 rotations. When we work with rotations, we are going to be turning figures different directions. So instead of sliding or flipping, we're now turning. The two ways you will be turning these figures are either clockwise, which goes around the same direction the hand of a clock would go around, or counterclockwise, which is the opposite direction. So kind of backwards in order on a clock. Let's write down some definitions before we move on. A rotation, or a turn, is a transformation in which a figure is rotated about a point called the center of rotation. The number of degrees a figure rotates is the angle of rotation. In a rotation, the original figure and its image are congruent. So over here, you can see our center of rotation. You can see the original figure here. And you can see that it has been rotated 90 degrees, and that would be in a clockwise direction. Pause the movie now, copy the definition for rotations and the sample image and turn showing the rotation of this trapezoid 90 degrees in the clockwise position direction. Let's look at this example. They want us to rotate a shape 270 degrees clockwise to the right. So if I turn it 90 degrees, it would look like this. Another 90 degrees or 180, it would look like this. And another 90, which is 270, the final figure would look like this. So let's, let's look at some example problems. This problem asks me to rotate puzzle piece, this puzzle piece, 270 degrees about the point P. So here's the puzzle piece, and I'm going to rotate it 90, 180, and then 270 degrees around the point P. So which piece would be a 270 degree rotation about the point P? Your answer would be letter C. You don't need to write this particular problem down. But I would like you to try one and two on your own. Pause the movie, then push play to check your answers. Let's see how you did. Number one says which piece is a 90 degree clockwise rotation? Well from the original piece to 90 degrees would be this figure. And this figure here matches exactly up with figure A. So the answer would be letter A. Question two asks if this is a rotation of the original puzzle piece. And two looks nothing like any, oh, excuse me, two or D looks nothing like any of these original pieces. So it is not a rotation, it is actually a reflection. Write these notes down in your math journal and then push play to continue. So let's try a problem. The vertices of a triangle are 1 comma 2. So that's the point J. 4 comma 2, which is the point K. And 1 negative 3, which is the point L. These create a figure that is a triangle. Pause the new movie and write this down into your notes. Okay, let's move on. We're now going to rotate this triangle 90 degrees counterclockwise around L. L is right here. So we're basically going to turn this entire figure around 90 degrees. What will this look like? Well, since the J here was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces, 
we know it's going to come out one, two, three, four, five spaces here. From this J, it went up one, two, three to K. So this will go up one, two, three to K. And then it will cut down like this. So this would be J, K, L. Pause the movie and write the coordinates for this new triangle. Press play to check your work. Let's see how you did. J should have been negative 4, negative 3. K should have been negative 4, 0. And L should have been 1, negative 3, which is the same as our original. Pause the movie. Make sure you have this in your notes. I hope this wasn't too confusing. Come back to class tomorrow ready to rotate, translate, and reflect. See you then.